Well, I could just film this video without my glasses, but I cannot see very well. So disclaimer, I am a big child at heart. I am going to be 19 years old in a few months. I have a big toy collection. I've always loved Build-A-Bears. Like, I just have this next to me. This is my um, David Tennant Build-A-Bear with like Converse and everything. I have an owl with a toothless hoodie. Like, I still shop at Build-A-Bear. My most recent Build-A-Bear purchase was Pikachu. And I do not regret it one bit, but I have been a fan of Build-A-Bear since I was about 10 years old. Let me tell you about Build-A-Bear Workshop. Now, my you first interactions with Build-A-Bear were through like the commercials on TV. Want. I always thought you it was like, the coolest place to be. I would go on the website, I would download backgrounds, I played all the games. There's like this little game where you like get the bear ready for like the day. He like brushes his teeth and you just do stuff like that. They had Hangman, they had all these Build-A-Bear games. And then I remember they posted an ad about a new Build-A-Bear game called Build-A-Bearville. Now, I was familiar with Virtual World. I played VMK briefly. I was a fan of Webkins like a year before I got a Webkins. So I played on Virtual Worlds all the time. I was on Neopets at one point. I loved those kinds of games. I played Animal Crossing basically religiously. So I was a big fan of Virtual Worlds. Now the Christmas that I heard about Build-A-Bearville, I had put on my Christmas list a Build-A-Bear game for the Nintendo DS, which I got for that following Christmas. But I also got like a Build-A-Bear gift card. And a couple months later, I went with my dad to Build-A-Bear and I bought my first Build-A-Bear using that gift card. And she was like totally like set up. She had a MP3 player in a case for it. She had like a little hoodie. She was so cute. And of course I called her Honey because she was a bear. Now when you made that bear, you would make a birth certificate for that bear and it would give you a code to go online to the website Build-A-Bearville, which I did as soon as I got home. Shortly after, Build-A-Bearville became my life. Now I was homeschooled and I loved playing on the computer when I was done with my school or before breakfast or something like that. So I would sign on to Bearville and I would play all the little games on there. They had baseball, they had like a safari game, they had all these little mini games. But the draw of Build a Bearville was not like the mini game. It was the fact that you had your own character, you could dress up, you could talk to other people in this game. And I was all into making friends. I was a social butterfly on homeschool blogger. I got the Blogger of the Year award in 2007, not to brag or anything. Now, Build a Bearville was right up my alley. There were a lot of little games you could play, dress your character up. There was a lot of opportunity to role play because they had a coffee shop. I would pretend that I worked at the coffee shop. I would pretend to be an employee at the Build a Bear store. And as the game went on, there got to be more like interaction with um, places that when your buildings always opening up, there was always something to look forward to. Build a Bear Bubble was just like the funnest thing ever. There were like staff members of the game who were called Psy Bear Guides, and I was literally friends with like a lot of them. One in particular that I think of still to this day as being a really cool guy was J.O. Cyber Guide, and I don't know what it was, but like some of these people were just so nice. Like they worked for Build a Bear and they were basically admins on the game. They would run little parties. One thing about Bearville was there was a lot of role play involved, so we played fashion show at the Performing Arts Center, which was Paw Forming Arts Center. There were a lot of bear puns in this game. Well, we'd have fashion shows, we would have parties. I became a follower of this blog. I don't remember what it was called, probably like Build a Bearville blog or something like that. And there were people on this blog who planned parties. It was always like a camp every summer, Camp Happy Heart. If you've ever played the game, you probably remember a lot of these things. And I just like became like really good friends with a lot of people. I remember my first very good friend I made from the game was called Emily Rose. I became friends with her because we were playing the baseball game and I asked her if she liked the Jonas Brothers, no joke. We like became friends through that. She became like, there was like a whole lot of drama, like she became, um, she became best friends with a lot of people from this vlog. She became very popular on YouTube. I was in several of her videos. Uh, we used to make music videos with like Taylor Swift songs. <laughs> I actually have some on this channel. Um, which, you know, sometimes I think, ugh, childhood, but I want to leave those up because they remind me of a good point in my life where I just, like, was having so much fun. There was always something to do, like, there were special guests, um, the actual CEO of Build-A-Bear would log on and play as a little bear character and interact with people and talk to us. She was the actual person and they had, like, all these mascots and there was just always something to do. There was always, always someone for me to play with. There were all these little cliques that I was a part of that I would just kind of like follow around and play with them. So much drama that like I got roped into it. It was kind of hilarious. To this day there are some people who I still talk to from this game just like 
because I met them. I was a member on Bearville Insider and I met several of my best friends on there. They all live in different states. I met my best friend of six years on there and we text every day. So there was a lot to do on Bearville. Now I was just obsessed with this game. I found out that I could get more items and money in this game if you actually went to the Build-A-Bear store and made certificates for Build-A-Bears that you already had. So I would like buy bears at Goodwill take them to build a bear, get them to make me a certificate so I could get that bear on the game, get more money, get more rooms in my house. It was pretty great. I remember getting build a bear stuff for Christmas. I remember hoarding receipts from build a bear because they gave you credits to use in game. You got better things if you spent actual money in the store, so I always went to the store and I bought stuff. Now, I don't have as many Build-A-Bears as I did before. Actually, none of these Build-A-Bears are ones that I had when I was little. Build-A-Bear got less fun as I got older, but then when I got to be like 14 and 15, I like went back on and played there. At some point, I had a lot of fun making like little YouTube videos. It was something fun to do, but I remember like we would get in the newspaper and oh, this game was just goals. And there was like music you could listen to while you played. Um, the one playing in the background for like earlier part of the video was Magic Bear World, which was my jam. And then there was like, a lot of them I remember were like Teddy Bear Heart. There were um, Christmas songs that played at Christmas. The North Pole would open up. You would go on a little train to the North Pole. And I just had like the best time playing this game. I probably played it off and on for well probably consistently for three years. Like I collected all the special items and all this stuff. It was so much fun. Um, and I met a lot of really great people through this game just from like getting to know them. Uh, I still message a lot of them on like Facebook and stuff. Some of them I still wonder what they're up to. Like I couldn't get in contact with them. And the game closed last year sadly. Which is, you know, it was really a fun game. Um, other games I didn't play as much were like Webkins and Neopets. But Bearville was just always like, I love the roleplay aspect of it. You played as a human, you met other humans, you could dress up, you could play together. It was just like the best thing. And I really appreciate, um, Maxine Clark was the CEO and she really like pushed the website I think. They always had cool promotions where you could get stuff in the Build-A-Bear store for your game. So I would like always want to go to Build-A-Bear and pick stuff up, like the little codes they would give out for free items. And recently there's a new CEO of Build-A-Bear, I think her name is Sharon something, and the reason they closed Bearville, they say, is because they did a survey and not many people played it anymore. And not many people played it at all, because um, I would go on there and the only server that would be full would be Bear Boulevard, which is the first server on the list. A lot of the others would be empty. It used to be packed on weekends, there were so many people online, there was so much stuff to do. I agree that not many people played it, a lot of people, you could only play it on a computer, and people were downloading apps instead. This was about the time where like smartphones got really popular with children. So I can see why they closed it down, but the fact that they said that they did a survey and asked who played it, um, I don't think there ever really was a survey and they blamed it on the lack of players like me, but um, I would have said to keep it, but I guess it wasn't worth it in the long run to keep like things running. I still wish I was able to reach out to some of the people that ran the game. J.O. Cyberguide is still really active. I hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on Bearville. Um, this was a big part of my childhood as you can see by like all the millions and millions of pictures. I took so many pictures and I'm really thankful that it was around when I was growing up because I met a lot of really amazing people who I still talk to to this day and it was just so much fun. It was a lot of fun. It was something I loved playing on. Now, if you were a member of Bearville at any point, what are some of your favorite memories? What would you have changed? What would you not have changed? Just let me know, like, your experience with Bearville because this was my childhood. This was legit my childhood. Thank you guys so much for watching. I plan on doing more videos in the future, not necessarily relating to Build-A-Bear, but just to my life in general and my interests nowadays. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!